Niacin, traditionally recognized for its lipid-modifying properties, is now increasingly understood as a modulator of cellular metabolism with the potential to influence longevity, inflammation, and mitochondrial health. At the molecular level, niacin serves as a precursor for NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, a vital coenzyme in energy production, redox reactions, and cellular repair. Its influence on intracellular NAD levels, particularly through the CD38, NAP signaling axis, positions niacin as more than a cardiovascular drug. It emerges as a cellular resilience enhancer. CD38, a multifunctional enzyme activated by niacin, plays a dual role. It degrades NAD, but also catalyzes the conversion of niacin to nicotinic acid adenine dinucleotide phosphate, NAP, a potent second messenger involved in mobilizing intracellular calcium. NAP is unique in that it targets acidic calcium stores, especially the lysosome, and stimulates calcium release via TRPML1 channels. This localized calcium signal not only facilitates cholesterol trafficking but also communicates directly with mitochondria, triggering a cascade of events that influence mitochondrial function, biogenesis, and energy output. Calcium flux from lysosomes to mitochondria is a tightly regulated process that supports mitochondrial membrane potential, oxidative phosphorylation, and ADP generation. By promoting lysosomal calcium release, niacin indirectly helps maintain mitochondrial efficiency, especially in metabolically active or stressed cells. This may be particularly important in tissues prone to energy deficits, such as cardiac muscle, neurons, and immune cells during activation. Furthermore, Niacin-derived NAD supports the activity of sirtuins, NAD, dependent deacetylases that regulate mitochondrial biogenesis, stress resistance, and metabolic homeostasis. SIRT1 and SIRT3, for instance, are essential for antioxidant defense and mitochondrial protein integrity, while other NAD, precursors like nicotinamide riboside, NR, and nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, have gained attention for directly boosting NAD, pools, Niacin's unique route through CD38 and its generation of NAP provide an additional layer of bioenergetic modulation that those precursors do not fully capture. Interestingly, niacin's activation of CD38 is a double-edged sword. While it supports calcium signaling and NAP generation, CD38 is also a major consumer of NAD. Yet in the presence of adequate niacin supply, this paradox may resolve in favor of metabolic benefit, as the system becomes more capable of NAD, regeneration. This balance is critical. Too little NAD undermines mitochondrial performance and DNA repair, while excessive CD38 activity in the absence of replenishment can deplete NAD and exacerbate metabolic decline. Niacin, by supporting both NAD, synthesis, and NAP signaling, may uniquely straddle these competing needs. In conditions of metabolic stress, such as inflammation, infection, aging, or cardiovascular disease, mitochondrial resilience is often compromised. Cells become less capable of maintaining energy homeostasis, managing oxidative stress, or executing autophagy. Niacin's support for mitochondrial calcium uptake and NAD, dependent enzymatic activity, may help restore metabolic flexibility and cell survival in these settings. Moreover, the reduced IL, one S set secretion and cell death observed in niacin treated macrophages point to an anti inflammatory and cytoprotective role that likely extends to other cell types as well. Taken together, these mechanisms suggest that niacin is far more than an HDL raising vitamin. Through CD38, mediated NAP synthesis, lysosomal calcium mobilization, and support of mitochondrial energetics via NAD pathways, Niacin enhances cellular function under stress, promotes metabolic efficiency, and may slow degenerative processes linked to mitochondrial dysfunction. This positions niacin not only as a therapeutic in cardiovascular disease, but also as a potential candidate in broader interventions aimed at improving health span, neuroprotection, and immune resilience.